Hello, how's it going? So today we've got a really special video for you guys. So as you guys know, I've been a big fan of 26 inch wheels, always. And just this year, for the first time, I got 27.5 bikes, my downhill bike and my enduro bike. Now, my downhill bike, my Evolve Sky Pilot over here, I decided to put 26 inch wheels on it and see how it rides at the Whistler Bike Park. That's right, we're doing it, 26 inch people. So this front rim is an old Mavic 321. I actually picked this wheel up from a fan of mine a while ago who wasn't going to use his old 26 inch wheels, so he gave me a couple of them. I put a fresh Magic Mary on there and it's ready to roll. This is custom painted by yours truly. I love how it looks. I think it looks sick with the green DVO fork. And look at this hub. Look at this hub. Bronze, kind of brown. I think it looks so good. You will recognize this wheel from my DaVinci Wilson. It's my really old, heavy aluminum boost wheel. It used to be a Sunringle Meg 30. Um, it is a boost spacing fork, but the thing is, DVO gives a little spacer. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a small black spacer in there to convert a non-boost hub into the boost spacing so that the rotors line up with the brake calipers on this boost fork. And uh, I'm so stoked on how it looks. It looks beautiful with this fork. What do you guys think? I think it looks absolutely amazing. So with the 26 inch wheels, we are lowering the bottom bracket by half an inch. So it went from a 367 millimeter bottom bracket for the center of this, and now it is a 355 millimeter bottom bracket. But thankfully, I've got this nice, big, beefy bash guard to protect me. All right, let's take this thing to the Whistle Trails and see how it rides. So I'm riding with Paul the Punter today, and I really want to see how long it takes him to find out that I'm riding 26 inch wheels. I'm not going to tell him. I just want to see his reaction. Yo, dude, how's it going? Right on, man. Why don't you spray the wheel on this one? Wait, have you... what size wheel is that bag? <laughs> nope. Guess. What's the front one? I know, I can see it. I can tell. And the front one's 26. Oh. I was just gonna see how long it took for you to notice. It took me, se it took me seconds. The moment <laughs> I saw your bike, I went, wait a minute. Have you ridden it yet? Nope. Okay. Dude, I am so stoked. Fresh tires, this thing is beautiful. Well, look at your wheels. Look at your insane wheels. Oh man. Bye. Yeah, let's do a lunch and ninja coops. Let's try out these 26 inch wheels. Woo! Whoa! Alright, ninja cougar. Oh, this is a beautiful shape. Oh, oh, not very good at that manually. Boy, I need some warm. I'm rusty. It's been a week and a half since I rode. Last time was at Sun Peaks. Whew. My initial thoughts so far on these blue trails is that it's working really well, but I still gotta get more warmed up to see how I can really ride with these wheels on this bike. The funny thing is, I didn't weigh my bike yet, but this rear wheel is pretty heavy. I think my whole bike is heavier with the smaller wheels. <laughs> Cause those ones are carbon. These ones are aluminum, but this one's like so heavy. Way back when I got the carbon wheel set, I did weigh the bare wheels. The bare rear carbon wheel was 1.025 kilograms and the bare rear aluminum wheel was 1.43 kilograms. I had also weighed the front wheel with a tire on it way back and it was showing 2.675 kilograms while this aluminum front wheel with a tire on it is showing 2.875 kilograms. That's a difference of about 600 grams which equals 1.3 pounds. So my whole bike with the carbon wheels weighs about 39.2 pounds. So basically with these aluminum wheels I made my bike weigh about 40 and a half pounds. There are definitely lighter aluminum wheels out there but I just wasn't using them. Whew, right on. Whew, all right, first lap. Man, I need more warm up. The weather was having fun with us today. Classic BC weather. There was rain, sun, it was overcast. We were only missing the snow. 
All right, let's uh, let's get it. Now let's actually see how we do on A line. 26 inch wheels, baby. All right. Had a bit of a warm up last run. All right. Doing good. <laughs> Feeling good with these wheels. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah, I land feeling perfectly good. How was it? Clean. Nice. You just do the drop, no brakes. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Let's give it a go. So Paul really needs to get that one jump after the uh, drop. So uh, hopefully I can give him some inspiration. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I just rolled that. No brakes. Just made it. Whoa, that was a bit awkward. Sweet. Yeah, that's good. So, what happened? I wimped out, but it feels fine. I just have to trust it. Yeah, having that lower bottom bracket is not gonna be any problem on those flow trails like A-Line or any of those blue single track trails we rode either, but it will become a problem if we are to do any black or double black diamond tech. You wanna do some techie stuff? Slay it? Yeah. Tech. All right, let's see how these little wheels do on this. First under in tech. Hope I don't like freaking hit my bottom bracket. We are gonna test out my bottom bracket height and do a couple double black trails. Woo! Whoa! I think I hit my bottom bracket. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't send that drop because I got flats before. So I don't wanna go too crazy, but. Okay, I just go this way. Part's so crazy. What a mess. Where's Paul? Send it. <laughs> Dude, I hit my bottom bracket twice. <laughs> <laughs> That was kind of sketch. So the lower bottom bracket was the main hindrance on these double black tech trails. My Evolve Sky Pilot is actually very good at tackling the gnarly, steeper, rough, techie trails. And so now with the 26 inch wheels, I'm not right. too sure if that was making too much difference. As I said, it was that lower bottom bracket that was really hindering me the most. Uh -huh. That was good, that was fun. All right. Tech is feeling pretty good actually. So Paul wants to do this drop for the first time. The one coming up here. Just gonna tow him into it. Just roll, easy drop. Woo! Oh, I thought you were gonna roll behind me. Yeah, you don't need speed at all. You can go nice and slow. All right, let's tow him in. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Paul was having a harder time on this drop and unfortunately never ended up doing it. 
I suppose my 26 inch wheels weren't very inspiring to him. Let's continue. The weather is getting nicer. This is sick. Woo! Oh. Wow! That was rough. That was gnarly. Uh, that was kind of a big drop too when you like yeah. send it. I think that's about as much gnarly tech that I'm going to do for today. I'm feeling really good right now and warmed up. So I just want to see what I can do with this wheel setup. Oh yeah. Yeah. Vroom. That was going good. I'm having some sunshine posed by Patsy Zane. <laughs> All right, let's follow Mr. Paul the Punter down Upper Angry Pirate. Trails like Angry Pirate, I thought we're running very nicely with this whole 26 inch setup. I think that there are even advantages to having that lower center of gravity on some of these trails, even though I would normally want that higher bottom bracket. It was these tighter turns that you find here, and especially on Ninja Cougar, I was loving these wheels on this kind of stuff. That felt good. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, that is good fun. That feels great. Huh. You're getting pretty good with the one footers. That's cool. Woo. Okay, let's get Woo. Yeah. I'm doing pretty good now. Tighter trails like Del Boca Vista were another great example of trails that felt so good with these smaller wheels. The added agility was a nice feeling. Oh, this is so fun. So smooth and fast. All right, that was sick. All right, let's do beer merchant. Let's see how it goes. Uh, my 26 inch wheels on my sky pellet. It was still running pretty good, even though it was starting to rain a bit again here. Especially this first half, it always runs very nicely. Sweet. Ah, uh, it's raining a bit. That sucks so well. Sweet. That was actually really smooth. Whoops. I do have to say, I was struggling on this later portion of Dirt Merchant though. Obviously the conditions are not the best right now anyway, but even with 27.5 wheels, I still struggle to properly clear some of these later jumps on Dirt Merchant. Oh man. Yeah, it's running slow, that's for sure. Oh boy, that was tough. But yeah, it was wet. It is usually slower when it's wet like that. Sweet. I kind of lost the mood. Oh, okay. All right. I was, I was just like, I put so much pressure on myself all morning. 
Right? Yeah. Oh, more rain. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, Paul did end up giving up on his goal to clear that one jump on A-line. And that's okay. Sometimes it's better to just forget about goals and just have fun and ride your bike, you know? By the end of the day, I was feeling so good on these wheels. Shredding A-line was tons of fun. But it's the kind of thing that you can't tell while watching the video. You can only tell speeds and this and that. You can't tell how it really feels for me. And you know what? I was really enjoying it. But at the same time, I have to admit, it wasn't necessarily that different from my Carbon 27.5 wheels. Woo! <laughs> it. Especially considering these aluminum wheels were heavier than Whoa. my bigger wheels. So that's kind of funny. But even with the heavier wheels and the lower bottom bracket height, I was feeling totally awesome on trails like A-Line or those blue flowier trails like Ninja Cougar, Ho Chi Minh. Railing the berms was so much fun. But I do have to say, if your bike is made for a certain wheel size, it's gonna be best to ride that wheel size generally. <laughs> so I'm gonna be putting back on my 27.5 wheels onto the Sky Pilot. It is how it's supposed to be ridden. And that way I can have the proper bottom bracket height and ride the tech trails a lot better. Oh yeah. There we go. Man, I gotta get better at that corner. That's uh, one butter. I'm doing pretty good with those. One butter. Woo! One butter again. But you know what? I actually decided to do a fun little comparison kind of video. And that's what you're going to see next week. I'm going to do a fun little comparison with my two wheel sizes here at Whistler. So stay tuned for next week's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I gotta give a huge shout out to my favorite sponsors, which are my patrons on Patreon. If you guys like downhill and free ride content, make sure you guys subscribe and check out all my other videos. Thanks guys, see you next time.